Welcome to Generation Gap Gamers. Volpine Pilot here. And today I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing, but let's go ahead and just jump right into it anyways. Actually, I did have a thought. So I, I completed most of the rail here, but when I had to go all the way down to the mansion to get the some rail, I noticed that there were like two villages that didn't have stations down in that direction. So the, the rail is not complete, completely complete. So we're just going to complete it completely. So this part is the service rail that has been converted to the beginning of the south line. So I did build this rail. Huh. It's always kind of neat when stuff doesn't render. You get a sneak peek through the terrain at stuff. Alrighty. Oh, that's down into the inner workings of the station. This station's a lot bigger than most of the ones that I built during this series. It has a nice big hidden roof area up here. The hidden bed there. I don't always hide beds in my station. Sometimes they're not hidden at all and just out in the open. All right, let's, oh, off we go. We're just going to travel through the night. I missed that cow. You were spared my animal abuse. Oh, no, it's, it's Minecraft animals. I wouldn't really punch a real cow. Huh, that, that looked interesting, but it was just the minecart. Moonrise. I was thinking we could follow this map back to the tree ziggurat. At some point. Hmm. Oh, I was just gonna, I didn't get off in time. But yeah, I am just going to continue traveling throughout the night. Whatever happens, happens. There's a zombie. Floating cow. Ah yes, there's the that one desert station that almost looks like a pyramid. Creeper right next to the station. I'm going to kill that creeper real fast before I continue along my merry way. Because who wants a creeper right next to their rail? Aha! I got it. With one arrow. Now we can continue on our way. Does it's kind of neat at night. You can still see pretty well. 
Not like those uh, roofed forests. Those are really dark at night. Hey, it was a mummy. Another creeper. Oh, pair of creepers. Now I don't know what's ahead. Oh, good thing they missed the minecart. Since it is nighttime, I'm going to put on a little bit more armor. And since there's a bed right here and a bunch of skeletons around, I'm going to sleep. This is the chest that I left only a couple things in. All right, skeletons are on fire now, but. Um, let's go into first person real quick to push this button. And away we go. Another bit of non-rendering land there. Uh, there's a cavern in there. Oh, there's more caverns. That one was just a chasm there. It was all lit. Some interesting terrain in this desert. Aha, I overtook the bunny. Huh. Apparently someone I damaged died there. That, look at that half-rendered church. Wait, did I put anything in this chest? Ah, there's stuff in this chest. All right. Now I have to chase after my cart, because I definitely did not get out of it inside the station, so it didn't get saved. But it looks like the update makes it so the carts don't go quite as far. Apparently that's the trick. You get the cart moving before you get into it. It's a lot faster than getting into it and then accelerating. All right, I guess I guess there's some other stations that I did make. I thought I started with that one, but I think that's just when I started recording. Oh no, I remember. I remember the station that I just left. Yeah, it's all looking familiar now. This station has a gold bed. Oh, I didn't get out in time again. But I want to check these chests as well. Ooh, lots of building materials. Mmm, yes. Like I needed to come back here. Well, let's chase after my uh, cart again. And away we go.
that temple just happened to be right along the rail, so it got a got a station as well. Now that cow definitely had it coming. Wow, nothing's rendering. Now, I don't know what those like dead chunks are. Maybe I need to change my graphic settings or something. I don't know. Maybe I just need a, a nicer machine to play this game with. That's always a possibility. Oh yes, I know which station this is. That one actually has a forced exit. Not a welcome sign? Oh, there it is. Yes, this is one of the other people on this realm who may or may not appear in the video eventually. We'll see. It's mostly just been me on the on the Minecraft realm lately. But I have no problems with hanging out by myself out here. It's one of the reasons I like Minecraft. I can just go do my own thing. And if anyone is in the same world, they can do their own thing too. Maybe it's just because I'm traveling so far that these chunks haven't rendered yet? I don't know. I definitely don't know any of it whatsoever. Oh, I thought that was a floating tree, but it was just more of the same. Oh, I saw that rail and thought it was like a layer of rock in the hill. I haven't been to too many of the biomes yet, so there is quite a lot that I have yet to see since the, the village and pillage update. All right. Does this one have a station? No. Okay, so I pretty much built stations just down to, to Nuo's village there. <laughs> Blank side. And that's it. So let's do a little bit of exploring. I do not know anything about this village. The villagers are trapped or all gone already. Who knows? Unsecured village. Lots of villagers out here. I guess I'm new enough that they don't trust me or something. Hmm. Interesting, gigantic village. be difficult to rescue from pillagers and the like. That brilliant craftsmanship, guys. Is there anyone in there? I don't think so. Just a crafting table and some books. All right. So this village is definitely completely unsecured. So coming up in the next video is me securing a village before I do any construction inside of it. This has been Vulpine Pilot. See you later. 
Space Cowboys.